Okay, now guys, if you take a look, this is the KP gain for rise time. So in order to find the rise time, what I would do, if you see this icon, then you see this act. Mm -hmm. So rise time, multiple options here. So the th I'm, I've clicked on the, this one, the third um, icon. You see, it shows you the rise time. So you would write down, uh, make a table of these columns, rise time from here, you will plug it in. Mm -hmm. And this is complete. How about the set, uh, the peak time? When you don't see an overshoot, it will not have any peak. So if you see a peak uh, overshoot, then you have to select the peak. Uh, how would you select the peaks? Let me show you. So if you go over here, there is a, a third, fourth peak finder. So it will automatically, first of all, it will pick up the commanded peak. Mm -hmm. the, the command value is this value. But you have to change this. You are looking at the gain value. So this is my peak. So in order to do that, if you go over here, now this is coming at x value of 3.8, but we have to start from here to here, here to here. So in order to do that, go over here and click on this uh, cursor measurement. That way, the first cursor measurement starts from right where there is a command position. You have to bring the other one where, uh, where, where you see this one. So this is the time difference. You bring this down. So this is the difference. 2.5 is where the command starts. 3.893 where the command ends. Mm -hmm. And, oh sorry, the peak ends, the peak time. So this is the settling time, and this is the settling time. So right now, the, the peak time is infinity. It never goes to the, a peak, eh, because the peak comes when there is an overshoot after the commanded position. So for all these, ha now I wanna show you, it has a peak time, because it has a certain peak, you right. see? But over, over here, this is not a peak. This, is the, this does not overshoot. When it does not overshoot, the peak time is infinity. But remaining gain values you might see are certain gain values like one, because one is very high, it will overshoot. This, uh, this pendulum will overshoot. So over there, you will use the same technique. And then, have you understood how to find out the settling time? Yes. This peak tells you the settling time. And uh, this is settling time, this peak time is infinity. Percentage overshoot. Do you see any overshoot? The delta T, is that the settling time? Yes, this is our settling time. Okay, let me ask you. Do you see any overshoot in the yellow, uh, the blue color line? Yeah. Overshoot only happens when it crosses the step value. Mm -hmm. Like in this case, there is an overshoot. So if you don't see an overshoot, so if you don't see an overshoot, then you would say, zero percent over, overshoot mm -hmm. and if you see an overshoot then you will find out over here there is an overshoot uh, button so you will use right now since we don't have overshoot i don't know why is it saying 0.42 but you will assume this is uh, zero percent okay the next thing you have to do steady state error in order to find out a steady state error you will find out you will zoom in uh, I was zooming. So the difference between these two, what is the difference? 45 minus 42.7, okay? Divide by 45 times 100. That is the average. So can you write down? 45 minus Y value, okay? This is a steady state error. When, it's, when it stays there, this pendulum stays, occupies, it does not oscillate. Right. So if it still oscillates, you will not pick up this point. You will pick up that point where it becomes stakes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it does not change its value beyond that value. So the difference between the commanded position minus the actual value divided by the command position times 100 is the steady state error. I've written down that one on the board as well. This formula, is, is this clear? Now the next question, is this system stable? This is very clear. I would ask you, is this system stable? Yes, it is stable because it does not grow. So it, it, if it does not grow or does not decay exponentially, the system is stable. You see, it stays there. If it keeps on moving like this, like this, you will see a time will come, it will keep on moving, moving, moving. That is, the, um, uh, that is known as the unstable system. So you will understand. What type of system is this? So you can easily t check. It, it's not underdamped because what happens in underdamped system it has some oscillation. Like this is an underdamped system. Mm -hmm. When it has some oscillation, then it stays there. If it does not show you oscillation in the peaks over here, then it is 
either the critically damped system or over overly damped system. And that way you can, you can just say that it is not under damped, it is either critically damped or, or overly damped. Did you understand that? For it to be critically damped, does there have to be like a percentage error between the... Critically damped? Mm -hmm. uh, critically damped is a little yes. bit faster than the uh, overly damped. So mm -hmm. don't worry about in that detail. Mm -hmm. Just complete this table. Okay. And that's it.